Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Zain Akmal bin Zuhairi, S54918. And today, my group and I will be explaining about the fish sensory testing. What is sensory testing? Sensory testing is the use of one or more of the human senses to judge the aspect of quality of fish. These tests are widely used by the fish sellers to determine the quality of their fish. The senses that are involved are sight, smell, taste, and also touch. With this assessment, it will determine whether the fish is fresh or spoiled. Firstly, observe the fish's physical condition. After that, the smell of the fish. Okay, from the result show, uh, the observation of the eyes of fish is convert, bulgin, and black bright pupils, transparent eyelid. After that, gel still unformalin, uh, dark red to purple, and do not have mucus. After that, the body of the fish is fairly regan and fern. And the smell of the fish is non smelly and naturally smell. Thank you. Okay, for the discussion, the appearance of the fish to know the freshness of the fish is depend on their skin. Gill, gill cover, eye, stomach, and the mucus of the gill. The fresh fish will have a bright pigmentation and bright color of skin. Although they're not fresh, we have a very dull pigmentation and the skin uh, will come away from the flesh. Then the appearance of skin mucus uh, of the fresh fish will have the aquarius uh, transparent and for the not fresh fish has a yellowish grey or upper cue mucus. Beside that, uh, to know the freshness of the fish, uh, if by looking through the eye, uh, the new or fresh fish uh, will have a bright pupil uh, color and have a transparent eyelid. And for the not fresh fish, have a grey pupil or the milky cornea. For the conclusion, the freshness of the fish is important to keep or maintain the quality of the fish. To keep the fresh fish, we need to put in the refrigerator of uh, at a low temperature so that it can low down the reaction of the organism to the fish. Because if that uh, fish not fresh, uh, can cause uh, food allergy and food poisoning.